Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my dear brothers and sisters and friends and family hope you're well hope you're good it's Wednesday it's in the limelight it's with your brother Naseem Khan aka Nas Khan today I've got a very special guest uh, very good brother as well before we actually uh, get into our brother and give him a call let's watch the video I'm Andy Connor from Newcastle I'm 31 representing Machine MMA Umar Bulletooth Kiani aka the People's Champ from High Wycombe, representing Five Science Holy Show. Prepare for this fight, like I was already in fight camp. I was already in a fight camp for my title fight in, in December. I'm just getting a call a week ago for this fight. I want this rematch. So here I am. The uh, training's been okay, had a few injuries, had on and off camp. Obviously had a lot of personal problems as well. So left my gym as well. And uh, but pulled through. I have to thank Terry Brazier, he's making his debut tonight as well. Uh, Dean Amasinga and all the boys in the NFM Windsor. And rests are done what I've done, and you find that tomorrow night. Hopefully, I'm going to get my sixth straight victory and uh, been out for a year. But let's see what happens. Omar, this is good. You've made this personal. I don't know why. I've never had a problem with you or anyone. I've never been racist in my whole life. So I don't know why people are going around saying this. I asked you for a rematch, and I didn't know your mom was bad. I apologize in that respect. But I've got my rematch. You've insulted us enough. Now it's personal. I don't like you, I've got zero respect for you, so whatever happens, either way, you ain't getting my respect. So UBTK signing in now. Andy Connor versus Uma Kiani. A rematch both of these guys have wanted for a long time. There's been a lot said on the internet about this and that. At the end of the day, both of these guys will slug it out and buy each other a drink afterwards. It's not the fans that count, it's about the two men in the cage. So be gentlemen and may the best man win. Presenting Fight Science, he is Uma Kayani. And standing across the cage in the blue corner, also weighing in at 80 kilograms, representing Machine MMA, he is Andy Connor. Connor. Gianni uh, came out on top in the first fight with a guillotine in the first round. Let's see how this one plays out. We know that position there by Gianni to get on top. Now he's looking for the key lock from the top position. He's turned it around. Kind of that single leg lockdown, just trying to fight his way to his feet. Nice reversal here. Take his mouth the cage. Go watch out for that guillotine again. Looks to be on. He's got to fight the grip. Looks to be in deep. Gianni trying to... He's going to try and pop to the side. He's gone. Kona's done. I think he's been put to sleep with the guillotine. A very good fight up to the end there, you know. Andy Kerr was in the fight the whole time, but Gianni's managing, you know, get him again with that guillotine. Very evenly, man. You say that lightning don't strike to twice well, but it did tonight. Ladies and gentlemen <coughs> after three minutes and 30 seconds of the very first round we have a winner by tap out to guillotine choke he is Umar thank you basically I'm having the worst time of my life my mum had a double kidney failure I cry every day it's been tough account my coach screwed me but special thanks to Nick the head of the Chapman Paul, Silver Dollar Dash, honestly, I don't without these guys. And this fan is for the fans, not for me, guys. This is for you, especially everybody watching around the world. You be taking done it for you guys. Love you, all. People's Champ. The People's Champ, Uma Kiani. <laughs> now, Uma, a lot of big things as well. Just quickly, February's round the corner, but are you going to have a rest or do you think you're coming back? It's been 14 months since I had a fight. I was definitely very rusty, as you saw. But Nick, honestly, Nick and Paul saw my head out of the back. I was honestly, I might wasn't there tonight. It only took me five minutes to warm me up as well. We'll rush, rush, rush. Rush, 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 but you're ready to go. You're 
And there you have it guys, my brother Omar Bully Tooth Kiani, one of the best Muslim MMA fighters, Alhamdulillah. I've got him on live with me. Assalamu alaikum, Omar Bhai, how are you? Yeah, well, it's now. How are you doing, my brother? I'm good, Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for taking your time out, my brother, and coming on UCTV today. No problem, brother. Thank you for having me on the show as well. It's no problem. No problem, yeah, no problem. Achha, we just watched a clip there about your fight, the one you had with the, the guy from Newcastle. Yeah, there, Newcastle, yeah, I think that was the Andy Connor rematch. Yeah, there was a lot, there was a lot of uh, momentum behind that, wasn't there? A lot of build-up behind that. Do you want to tell us a little bit? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of build-up behind it. At the same time, I had to leave my uh, gym as well. Obviously, I had a fallout with the coach as well. Yeah. There was a lot of racism, racism involved as well. Yeah. A lot, lot of, you know, attack my religion and, you know, that fight was a must-win fight. Yeah. If losing that fight, that would be end of me, basically. They had now would be able to basically show my face on social media and in, on, the, on, on, in, in, in on the real life as well, basically. That I awards, all my victories in the past wouldn't mean absolutely nothing. Yeah, because this was a big battle. It was a battle of racism. It was a battle of... Culture, it was a battle of race, yeah, really. But, yeah, but that's been part of my career. So yeah. for some bizarre reason, uh, I've been to you, you know. So that's been always, uh, that was the, the first, I think second time or third time I had uh, <laughs> to deal with that kind of, uh, uh, basically, yeah. Yeah, man. So let's let's go back, man, uh, Mirapra. Let's go back to how it all started for you, how old you were, and what came across you to say, you know what, I want to do MMA. Well, basically, I was just... Uh, I'm, I'm the only brother, basically, in the family. I was, uh, you know, I'm my mum's uh, favourite son, you know. And, uh, not my dad, really, but my dad is very old school. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yeah, he, within me, just uh, go with the flow, really. I've been there's you know, no hugs and kisses involved. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but school, basically, you know, I had a lot of bully issues. And uh, obviously, I used to go to uh, in a play, place called Chechen. That's where I, was, uh, I went to school because my uncles were there. Right. Uh, like Nasir they passed away uh, a few years ago now, and uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I was on a daily basis uh, once again uh, victim of racism. And uh, one day, you know, I had enough. You know, either you live there in silence or stand up for yourself. Yeah. And from there, basically, you know, end up sparking one, two, three lads up, and uh, got expelled from school. And yeah, uh, it all started from there, basically. And uh, yeah. And uh, my MMA career was just a mystery, personally. Obviously, I just got spoiled in a street fight, and uh, I guess a very big guy, twenty yards strong plus. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was in the early on a clue what I was doing at that time. Obviously, you know, I lost it against an elite uh, fighter, guy called Cat Member in uh, a Maidstone Cat. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was a raw first fight, which I took a lot of damage. You know, I was a gun with no bullets at that time, <laughs> and time went. Yeah, tap time went on, and you know. Obviously, I had a yeah, lot of ups and up, up downs, obviously, you know. Uh, I've got trouble with the law as well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you want me to go into details with that as well. You can enlighten yeah, 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 us, man. Let's, let's go back, man, uh, man uh, Let's go back to how it all started yeah. for you. How well, from there, basically, I just, uh, you know, keeping my head down. And I may basically save my life with this way. Yeah. That's good, man. That's good. You followed, you followed something that you wanted to do and something you wanted to get into. So yeah, I was uh, fighting was in my blood anyway. Personally, anyway, my my, my, my mum's older brother was a uh, amateur boxer as well. Marshall, uh, there you go. Raja Shukunavaz. Obviously, he had dialysis as well. Same issue as my mum. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so uh, even my father, I've been to you know, he, he's a very handy man to handle himself. Yeah. And all my yeah family, most of them anyway. Yeah. So. <clears throat> So that was, you know, me just to get to this far is, is nothing but, I would have said, you know, miracle, but I had to be all, you know, uh, like this trainer, that trainer, you know, even, a, you know, bump stacking, sorry my language, but yeah. uh, I speak the facts as well. Yeah. And I had to do it myself, and I've got thanks to Allah, my mother's prayers, and all my uh, special thanks to all my loyal fans, really, each and every one of them, uh, who go out their way to take their time to pray for me, and, you know, to me, I have to, you know, give it back to them. That, that's my nature. Absolutely. Nature, you, see, uh, you know, I'm not one of those guys, you know, got a chip on the shoulder like many people do uh, nowadays, you know. Most no, no, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, bro, you're a top guy, you're a genuine guy. It's just, uh, we're gonna, uh, it's just 
the way people are, there's a lot of haters out there and they think, you know, what they, uh, they like to attack in different angles. But Alhamdulillah, you know, you, as a Muslim brother, you've done your best. You've thank achieved. You you've achieved. No, what thank you, had. you for your thank No, no, no. no. <laughs> Bro, I've seen it. I've seen how you started. I've seen how you achieved it. And it's a very big thing for a Muslim it, it, individual. It's, you know, it's been a very, very uh, difficult, uh, painful journey so far. Very lonely journey, especially when you're in the hospital with a broken jaw. And nobody's there for you. You got your eyes socket snapped as well. Yeah. And then you're on your own once again. That might be funny. Everybody looks at the shiny star. You know, when he fades away, people move on to the next one. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, yeah. Uh, you know, that's today's society. I've been to People even turn on on their mom and dad, sisters, brother for a bit of money. You know, they sell their souls. Uh, I've been to you. Absolutely. A lot of people do try to tell me to be political. I've been to you, but I do not listen to anybody personally. I've been to you. So because these people. Never been there for, for me, so why do yeah. I have to listen to any of these individuals? I'll be honest with you. Absolutely, you know, everybody 100%. try to be a hero, and, you know, try to be, oh, uh, you know, I'll be older, but this and that, this, you know. I tell, I tell them politely, you know, only once, the uh, second time I don't use the language, I'll be honest with you. Know, so, <laughs> absolutely, uh, absolutely, we've yeah. seen that, but. Uh, like I said, on, on my show, I think you're the only time on my show you're going to keep it clean. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm like, no, I'm like, it's not, my blood has been clean and they, they no drugs, no alcohol. Yeah. I, and I'm a proud man. I can speak and they, they I can, you know. And it might be funny, many youngsters literally follow me on social media. They grew up under my own eyes. Now, yeah, now yeah. they're grown men. Especially the young boxer is up and coming from Peter's bro, as well, Muhammad Samid. Yeah. As a young kid, 10, 11, 12 years old. Now he's a professional boxer, you know, he's many, now he just seems, he's many, many, I call him nephew, I treat him like my own son, I'll be honest with you. Marshall. Many of them out there, uh, you know, uh, who grew up watching me, you know, so, uh, yeah, with me, what you see, what you get at day day, you know, you can't be, uh, 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 always been me, and inshallah, as long as I'm alive, and I will carry on being me. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, people say, please do not, you know, I get all the inbox messages, you know, please do not change. So, yeah. all my loyal hardcore fans, they got nothing to worry about. UBTK is what he is from beginning of, and I will be the same man I am while I was and I'm not, don't you worry about it. You know? so, the, absolutely, bro. I'm there not, you heard it. You've told us live on air and I know you from a long time and I know what you like. It's just that everybody has... I, think, oh, I, I have my mood swings, I've been with you. I was just going to say that, yeah. I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm no, not no, perfect, but yeah. everybody uh, has mood swings, isn't it, bro? Make up stories every day, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, every, everybody I have, has I have, mood swings. I have my moments every day, you know what I mean? I have ups and downs as well. Yeah. Obviously, plus, you know, social media is a devil playground, and I've been, I've been on it for almost 15 years now. Yeah. So, well, obviously, you know, when I was young, you know, all the, all, all the attention I was getting, obviously, it was very new to me, and yeah. I wasn't used to it, and they, they, you know what I mean? So as the time goes on now, you know, my mind is uh, is, is bulletproof personally, I've been to you. You know, nothing uh, bothers me, you know, nothing I haven't seen and uh, nothing surprises me either. Absolutely, but what I was going to say was everybody goes through that phase and everybody gets ticked off when they need to because... Yeah, but people out there, they, they look for the opportunity to put you down, I've been to you. And they, they, you know what I mean, there are many people out there who just... Uh, there are two types of people. People who just want to live their life, for example, they want to work, do nine five, uh, you know, pay the bills and mortgage. And the second type, they just want to make your life living hell. Absolutely. There's no reason to it. There's, there's no uh, motive behind it nowadays. They're, yeah. they're just people that just want to. They, they just that's the DNA, unfortunately. I'll be honest with you. No, you're not. You're not. So, uh, yeah, doesn't no matter what you do, you're gonna come across individuals that are not gonna like you. So, so be it. Absolutely. And they, they, you know. What I'll do is, uh, Omar, I'm just going to take a quick break and inshallah we'll come back in a minute's time, yeah? No problem. Right, guys, we're just going to take a, go a quick break. Omar Bulletooth County is not going anywhere. He's here. So give me one minute and we'll be straight back.
Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to UCTV with my brother Nas Khan, Naseem Khan uh, on my show In The Limelight on UCTV and today's guest is my brother Omar Bullet to the Gandhi. Assalamu alaikum bro. Waalaikum I'm good man, I'm good. Let's tell the audience where you got the name Bullet Tooth from. <laughs> uh, Bullet Tooth basically, that was a bit long story, I'm going to keep it short basically. I, yeah. I got involved with the wrong wrong crowd. Uh, I was young basically, I was involved with the, in uh, double conspiracy murder and possession of firearm and the list goes on basically and uh, uh, yeah, and basically when I came out, you know, uh, prison, and I was on Sky Sports uh, show, and uh, the legendary promoter David Dole gave me the name Bullet Tooth because uh, uh, of my past, and uh, <laughs> that name just stuck by me since uh, since I've been in the uh, now, you know. Right. I mean, you know, when you're young, you know, things happen in their day. So plus, I'm a stand-up guy, obviously, you know. Uh, uh, you know, for the right reason, I always Absolutely. stand up for myself as well. So, yeah, uh, uh, that's how the name David Donald, the, the great MMA promoter from UCMA Cage Ranger, yeah. uh, gave me the name on uh, Cage Fighter Show on Sky Sports. Look at that, fantastic. So, what's your plans going forward, my bro? What's your plans going that's forward? Not, uh, obviously, I'm suffering with the, uh, the three slip dicks uh, for the last two years now. I remember, and yeah. And like, um, yeah, so the guard does, I mean, that yeah, people, you know, even the doctor said I won't be walk, able to walk properly and this. And I had the dead max for that. Seven months, yeah, and I was still training. Obviously, I couldn't do the stuff I wanted to do, yeah. But I didn't give up. I didn't just, uh, you know, use the crutches or uh, bad story for myself. Uh, I still was playing cricket, you know, with one leg, and yeah. uh, I was doing uh, lifting, power, doing a lot of power lifting regarding, uh, you know, with uh, such a serious injuries, which is can put you to the wheelchair. Absolutely, and, I saw uh, it. I saw it myself. Yeah, I saw you doing the training. Yeah, I, t I, t I, I refused the operation basically. Yeah. Uh, obviously, because uh, my mum goes not to get the operation done. I, I was supposed to get it done in Oxford the hospital. Uh, day was done, and uh, yeah, pulled out from there. And I'll be doing my own physio. And I'm the love. I'm running now. I've done about three k run just now before I just came out of gym Marshall. to uh, speak to you. And uh, I'm building it up again. And inshallah, you hopefully after this uh, Corona COVID nineteen is all over, if it's over, you will see me back soon. I see a couple of times, if not one time again. Inshallah, definitely. And what is the people need to know one thing is that with the brother Umar, he has his proper strict diet, he has his set foods, hence he's got the physique that he's got. And uh, uh, like that's I just stuck to it basically for the last uh, over ten years now basically and uh, it's uh, some to it really. For example, yeah. chilies I can't eat chilies because uh, yeah, I'm allergic to chilies now. Uh, any any spicy kind of food, even you know, even bit of chilies, my skin goes all funny. So yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, and I do. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of repetitions. I don't train weights the way these normal people do. Yeah, uh, you know, the people who've been around me. That's why I never had a training partner. They don't last with me more than a week. Yeah, yeah. Hence you've got, hence so, you've got where you are, my brother. And at the end of the day, people need to know that it's hard to maintain that physique. I remember when you got ill and you had your back. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Yeah. You know what makes me happy when I see, you know, the new generation. You know, the youngsters they are good lads as well. The problem yeah. is there are a lot of people out there who discourages the, the youngsters out there. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of talent out there, but you know, you need to, you know, give the encouragement uh, to do well. Yeah. Uh, but it's too much politics. Uh, it's too much hate. Too much jealousy in our in our community. Yeah. 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 And people don't like to talk about it. You know, people. Uh, for example. I guarantee you, Nas, uh, people you see on social media in real life, they won't act the exact same way they act on social media. Absolutely. Until, uh, you, you're a very experienced man yourself. You've seen many people, or they're totally di different people uh, in real life than on social media. Yes or no, Nas? Absolutely, 100%, bro. It's all fakeness, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, with me, you name me one person, every person in real life, I'm an even better person than I am on social media. Yeah, you will not see me. Yeah, that's why, you know, with me, what you see, what you get, nothing, nothing different about it. But in, in real life, people find me people are fake. Yeah, and halal is halal. Be, halal yeah, takes you a lot of There are good actors out there who put up a fake persona. But alhamdulillah, I'm a very fortunate man to have such a good people, uh, you know, who follow me. You know, my fan base is, mashallah, is a legitimate fan base. Uh, they are sick to me. And, Absolutely, uh, you know, I've seen it. And I've I'm very it. proud uh, to, you know, to have people like this uh, who support me, I've been to you. And, you know, especially the, the mothers uh, who take their time to pray for me as well, to watch my videos. You know, I know sometimes, mostly, I do swear. And, uh, obviously, that's, that happens, obviously, I don't really mean to do no, it. No, no, of course, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just it. one of them things. Not perfect, uh, you know, but... I'm emotions. Like, you know, it's, it's improved a lot anyway, so... Yeah, yeah, it's just emotions when get better of you, hence, 
You come yeah, because I'm you speaking do. from the. I'm not. You know, I don't, I don't try to. I don't stick there right on the script. Yeah, now so I'm gonna say this, but I come on live. You understand? Yeah, I yeah. Don't, I'm not, I don't, you, with me, I come on. I say what I gotta say, basically, and just go with the flow. And uh, that's it, really. I never say like many people out there. You know, who gonna think about it? Oh, I'm gonna say this, blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah. I'm gonna put up a good actor. I'm, I'm gonna make the face, the impression. You know, uh, how I'm gonna fool the public. You know. Yeah. That's what most people do. That's a fact. I've been to you. Yeah, it's true. You're 100% right. I agree with you. So I yeah, because I met many confident people on social media, face to face, and they're fighting. They can't even fucking breathe properly in front of me. I'm not going to lie to you, you know? No, it's true. When it's I true. try to have a conversation, they, they can't even look at me eye to eye. Uh, no? no, they can't. And I've seen it happen with yourself, and it's one of them, and it? it's just. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 100%. Now. So there you go. You know, I just tell you the youth, yeah, just be real. And, uh, you know, just to, you know, be yourself, yeah? Yeah. And uh, forget chasing the, this, uh, you know. Uh, artificial uh, world, yeah, materialistic stuff, yeah. 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 But look at me, yeah. As long as I get clean clothes, yeah, and I'm breathing. To me, yeah. freedom is a beautiful thing. Which is, I almost lost it, yeah. You know, it would have been if, if uh, conviction I would not be here today. It would have been no bullet tooth. It would have been no Parliament House awards or yeah. uh, Pride of Community awards and the best fighters and number one, you know, best only Pakistani to buy a ballot or first yeah. Pakistani to win a fire cage race. It would have been none of that. Obviously, I done something right to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to help me out and got me out that uh, situation, which is up to what I was done and dusted. Personally, I've been a senior. You know? Absolutely, so, right, bro. I so I, I'm, you know, I got, I got a dream as well, you know, to you know, uh, to make a place in uh, Pakistan as well to help the orphans. Uh, you know, maybe this is for another time. Hopefully, I do another interview with you soon. Mashallah, you know, it's, well. it's quite unique. You're touching on that because I'm actually doing the same thing in Pakistan, near a village. I'm actually yeah. Because the thing yeah. is, that, you know, these children, yeah, there is is a lot of evil people. You know, they go, they, they get sexually abused and that, yeah. and uh, nobody really cares. Yeah, people put it under the carpet. Yeah, they avoid. Uh, you know, the real reason, you know, because uh, me, I'm against all this as well, I'll be honest with you, you know. Absolutely. And uh, like I said, I, I, I cannot stand pedophiles, you know, I see everybody kid like my own, you know, because I've got fun on my own. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not be funny, you know, so uh, every child is my responsibility because, uh, you know, because I am the voice of the voiceless, so there's no Islam but Sabah, you know. Absolutely. Me to help out people, to be a fighter, so people see me more than that, to, you know, to help out people to commit, you know, to, to depression, anxiety, to commit suicide. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful feeling. The people trust me more than their own family. Man, I go through my inbox messages now, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I say to myself, you know, I, you know, I'm not a counsellor. And they, they, you understand? No, you know, no, when, you, when they tell me uh, their problems and that, you know, so it, 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 to help them, to put a smile on somebody's face is a blessing. That's all I can say now, you know? Absolutely, bro. And I just want to say thank you very much, Yar, for coming on, giving your time. No and problem. Now. Thank you for having me again. Uh, again, first time. Yeah, first <laughs> like time. I've been yeah. here before already. <laughs> again, as if we normally talk in it. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Man. No, thank you once again. Uh, and uh, thank you, everybody, for listening as well. And, uh, yeah, once again, God, give a big shout out to all my followers and fans. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and support me since day one. And uh, thank you. That's all I can say. Masha, Jazakallah, Omar Pai. We catch up soon and lovely for you to come Inshallah. in over here. Inshallah. Thank you, Nat. Have well, a great evening as well. Look after yourself. You too. Thank you, bro. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. And there you have it, guys. Omar Bitooth Gyani, my brother, UBTK. Uh, he's touched on some very good stuff. He's touched on his past. He's touched on what he's done, the injuries he's been through, the awards he's got. Alhamdulillah, the people's person, the voice of the people. Great gentleman, great heart. And at the end of the day, he's a Muslim brother. So... Keep up your support guys, inshallah.